show you how to replace the spark plugs on a Ford 5.4 liter Triton V8. In Triton 4.6, 5.4, and 6.8 liter engines, generally from the years 2004 to 2008, spark plugs are notorious for having this part break off inside the head. So I'll show you how to minimize the chance of breaking these. You'll need some kind of penetrating oil, throttle body, and intake cleaner. The Ford Triton Broken Spark Plug Porcelain and Electrode Removal Set, which you can rent from an auto parts store, you can buy it. And you'll need this kit to go along with this kit. This is the consumable part of a kit, so it's sold separately and you actually have to buy this part. It's only 10 bucks. There are other brands you can use that offer different methods of extracting the spark plugs, but this is what I got. If you go with this type of kit and this brand, you must get both of these and have them on hand, ready to go. Some nickel anti-seize, even though that's not nickel, I'd highly recommend using nickel anti-seize. Your spark plugs, obviously. The original spark plugs are a 916th socket. I'd recommend the Ford socket but I'm just using a regular socket that I have. Your new spark plugs might be a different size if they're an aftermarket spark plug. Various extensions and at least one swivel for the spark plugs. And a seven millimeter socket. Again, a swivel and various extensions. And compressed air and a vacuum. First step is to use the compressed air and vacuum to clean out around the coil packs where debris may fall down into the spark plug hole if you don't clean it. Then you'll unplug the coil packs. You may need to unplug a few of the injectors as well just to give yourself some more space. Then you'll take that 7mm socket and unbolt all of the coil packs. To give yourself some better access to this coil pack, you can remove this pipe. It's very easy. See this gray tab here? Push it to the right. And the hose comes off. To put it back on, Push it on. Now we're over on the right side of the engine. Now once the coil pack is unbolted, pull it straight up and then you can work it out. These are flexible so you don't worry about breaking them. If they do break you can replace this portion. It pops off of here. Once you remove that coil pack, use that compressed air and blow out that spark plug hole one more time. Make sure there's no debris in there. And now the most important step, follow this carefully before you attempt to remove the spark plug. Spray that penetrating oil into the spark plug hole. Let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Then turn the spark plug out. One quarter turn. Don't go any further than that. Then spray in the throttle body cleaner and let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes and once the throttle body cleaner is sitting there you can go ahead and slowly remove the plug the rest of the way if it starts to feel like it's sticking turn it back in and then turn it back out and in and out and in and out until hopefully it loosens itself up It does take a bit of force to get these out. I don't have a proper spark plug socket, so I'm just using a magnet to pull the plug out. Oh my god, it broke off. That's the first one that broke. I was able to remove six out of eight of the spark plugs without breaking them using this procedure. At least it happened on this one where it's nice and accessible. If it happened on one of those in the back, that would suck. But I've successfully extracted 
the ceramic and the electrode shield with this kit. I'm going to demonstrate how this works out in the open in this video and in a different video. Maybe I'll drill a hole in a block of wood and break another spark plug so I can show you how this actually works. So your spark plug has broken off inside the cylinder head of your 5.4 liter Triton V8 engine. Awesome. The first thing you need to do is use some compressed air and blow out any ceramic pieces that are left behind in the spark plug hole. You'll want to use eye protection during this. Then take some needle nose pliers, go down into the spark plug hole and remove this center pin if it has been left behind. And now you just have the inner ceramic piece and the electrode shield. And that would be this part of the spark plug that has been left behind. Now you want to blow it out with compressed air one more time. First you'll need to prepare the porcelain extraction portion of this kit. Grab the plastic shield, the fully threaded rod, the small nut, the small washer, the nose cone, and the applicator, and a pin from this little kit. Now you get the pin and the nose cone. Put the pin through the nose cone. Thread the nose cone onto the threaded rod and then just let that sit for a moment while you do the next step. Now you need to apply some adhesive from this kit. This is the adhesive. You use the applicator rod Put some adhesive on the tip and get it down into the spark plug hole and into the hole in the ceramic piece. And you slide it in and out, spin it around to distribute the adhesive in there. You do that twice. Then you apply some adhesive to this pin. And then you get that down in there. Spin that around, add the plastic guide, and then let the glue cure for one hour. You might as well put the washer on and get the nut ready so that you're ready to go once this glue cures. And just a tip with this, I take this white plastic guide off. I don't even bother with that. For me it was easier just to do it like this. This thing gets stuck in the spark plug holes and you need to use like a vacuum to get it out. I actually had to use the glue on this and glue this rod into this guide. Pull it out of that back hole there so. And another tip you don't want to get this adhesive on the spark plug threads inside the cylinder head. Once an hour has passed and the glue has set you use your one quarter inch wrench or ratchet or whatever, hold the center shaft steady, use your 14 millimeter wrench, spin this nut, and that extracts the ceramic part. from the electrode shield. Then to extract the electrode shield, first you need to get one of these red rubber stoppers from this little kit, and you put it in to the empty electrode shield. That stops any metal shavings from falling into the engine from this next step. And you need to grab the tap from the big kit. 
and you need to tap threads into the electrode shield. Slowly spin it in. Don't force it if it gets jammed or anything like that. Spin it back out, blow off the tap of any metal shavings, and then go in again. Be really careful, really slow. You do not want to break this off in the electrode shield because then you'll be taking the cylinder head off to remove these parts. Do not try to pull the electrode shield out with the tap either. Once you have those threads tapped in there, you go into the kit, you grab the steel sleeve, this one with the big threads and the little threads, the big nut, and this plastic washer. So now you put the steel sleeve down into the spark plug hole, this notched area downwards. And you'll send this rod down through the sleeve. Small threads first, that's the only thing that fits down in there. Then the threaded rod will screw into those threads that you tapped into the electrode shield. Tighten that down just a little bit. Now you slide the washer over there and the big nut. And you'll hold this shaft steady from spinning with a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. And you'll use a 24 millimeter to spin this nut. This is not going to work out right on this piece of wood setup, but it will pull the electro shield out of the cylinder head and you're ready to put in your new spark plugs. And hopefully you will have the electrode shield attached to this assembly when you pull it up. And luckily there it is. But unfortunately now I gotta do it on that back one. Unbelievable. So of course the back one on this side broke and that's the most difficult one to get out because of all these pipes and wires in the way. So what I did was I unplugged this wiring harness and moved it out of the way. It's kind of plugged in up here and its original position is up here like this. But if you unplug it and disconnect it and pull it over the oil fill, it will get out of your way. Unplug it from up here also. It's connected here. I just broke the clip off. I'm not really worried about that kind of thing. And this harness is also connected onto these two studs. Where is it? There. And you just pull it off of there. Then I used a weird flashlight to shine light down into the hole. And I used my cell phone camera to look down in there. And I used my other hand to insert the adhesive applicator and the pin rod. Because if you're not able to see in there, that pin is just going to flop around and the adhesive will get all over the inside of the spark plug hole and it won't go into the um, ceramic part where it needs to go. So to tap threads in the electrode shield in the rear spark plug hole, I had to use some extended curved needle nose pliers and the fuel rail to leverage some downward pressure on the tap as I turned it with the wrench in order to get the threads to start. Another tip if your spark plug socket is just spinning and spinning and the spark plug's not coming out, the metal threaded part separated from the ceramic part, it's just spinning like this. So what you need to do is take some needle nose pliers, send them down into the spark plug hole, and pull the metal part out, and then pull the ceramic part out. You might also want to turn the engine over without the plugs in. If you've sprayed a ton of fluid in there, you don't want to hydrolock the engine. Let that fluid blow out of the holes and then put the plugs in. 
then you're good to go. When you put your new plugs in, apply the anti-seize to the threads before installing them. Torque them to 25 foot-pounds. Put your coils back on, reconnect your wiring, try to start up the car, see how it runs. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. I'll have links in the description to the products I used in the video. And thank you for watching.